Hello everyone, my name is Lukasz and in today's tutorial I will show you how you can change your environment and do some renders. Right now, when we click on real-time rendering, you can see that the sky is just one color, which is not quite mm, impressive for the client or for the tutor when you want to show ni nice renderings. So you go back to animation window, right click, but make sure you have the navigation mode, because if you have your normal, let's say, selection mode and you right click, totally different properties are suggested. So you need to be in navigation mode, right click, and here is surroundings. So as you can see, here is the orientation towards the north, here is your sun, you can set month, day and time. And depends on how you drag and drop, you can see that this one changes as well and automatically changes the shadows in your viewport. So let's say we want to have shadow on the right hand side and bright space on the left hand side. Let's say this view is nice because it creates nice atmospheric shadows underneath the shelter. Then you have location, where you can set specific location, latitude, longitude, time zone and everything, whatever you need. Virtual ground plane. This is good if you have any ground around, so you have ground under your model, so it doesn't float, it creates the shadow. But once you create the ground, you create the surroundings, you don't want to have virtual ground plane, because in a further distance you will have white surface which will distract your renders. The last thing is background. Here it says color. You can choose any color you want for your background, but right now we don't want to have color. There is a physical sky. which is kind of sky that creates night um, warm light when the sun rises or when the sun goes down. And as you can see, it changes the color depends on the daytime. You click close and click real time rendering again. You can see that sky has changed. It doesn't have one color anymore. But still, to be honest, I'm missing some clouds. So, when you go to animation again, right click, go to surroundings, scroll down, and here you have custom. In this area, you can choose a texture. The texture needs to be HDR panoramatic texture, which is specific for skies and surroundings. You need to click on the three dots, and here I have prepared one HDR sky. As you can see, it's bitmap plus HDR format. Click open and the HDR sky is load. You click close and you can automatically see how the surrounding has changed. Once again, if you want to change the rotation, you can do it here. And the whole sky, you can either add the value in numbers, or you can simply drag it. Yes, this is what I like. Click close, set the perfect view as you want, and click real time rendering. Now, as you can see, this is sort of like a preview how it may look like when you finish a render. But when you look closer, you can see all the noise which needs to be clean after many steps. So this is just 
for let's say conceptual renders which needs to be quick and doesn't need to be that sharp but for example you want to finish your project you are in animation window right click again and here is render when once you click it the render window will open here you have image resolution I usually set full HD, which is enough for nice renders, but it doesn't take too long. And I have general settings like renderer, rendering mode, ambient occlusion, and other more specific settings. Without any worries, you can simply cl click render. At the beginning, it calculates surfaces, so it knows what kind of sunlight intensity is on each surface. Then it calculates shadows, bump textures and other features which are essential for creating realistic renders. Once the render is finished, you can see the whole time how long it took. On the top left hand side corner there is a window called render and you can adjust color saturation, brightness and contrast. And you just simply use sliders to adjust everything for your needs. Then you click save as bitmap, let's say to desktop. And you just type name, let's say render 01. Click save. When we go to desktop, we can see that the render is here in full quality. Hopefully after this video, you can simply change your environment and do some really nice renders. Thank you for your attention and see you in next video. Bye bye.